This is the third consecutive year that the Polson's girls volleyball team has made it to the state a volleyball tournament and they're also coming in as the number one seed. But luckily pressure is what this team lives for. It's a little, I guess it's a little bit of pressure, but I thought of it more as an advantage because going in as the number one seed, we get to play like the easier teams first, which will help us go even farther. And I think it'll be good to see how the other, other teams are playing at school. These seniors have made it to the state tournament three out of their four years, and they say they owe a lot of their success to the standard their coaches have held them to. Like they push us all the time, and they just push me to be better, and like they give me a good work ethic, work ethic, and make sure that we're always doing the small things. And head coach Lizzie Cox says it's the small things that matter because she's trying to build a foundation for the Pirates for years to come. This is her fourth season as Polson's head volleyball coach and has already made three appearances to state, but she says this is just the beginning. Kind of buying into like our philosophy and the goal of really building the program. This isn't just about last year or the year before or this year. It's like, what's long term? And I think long term, we just want to be great. Pirates had six seniors graduate last year, so although this season may be shocking to some, this year's team knew what it took for another state championship appearance and came out firing since the beginning. We graduated a ton of seniors last year, and I really thought, I think a lot of people thought, you know, it's going to be a down year for them, but they came in and... From the very first practice, I thought, do not count these girls out. Polson will be playing tomorrow at 4 p.m. against the winner of Miles City versus Hamilton. Reporting in Polson, Alexa Bell Castro, MTN Sports.